Hello everyone and welcome back to another vendor vlog. This day I was in downtown Fullerton with Toontown Market for the second time. What? This new location was perfect because it was really close to me and it was just guaranteed foot traffic because it was in downtown on a Saturday and a lot of people are in this area. I feel like the loading in time was the easiest one I've done yet. The parking structure was literally right next to it. We were able to park and leave our cars there before the load-in time actually started. So a lot of vendors were already there with their wagons loaded and ready to go. My spot was very close, so I didn't have to move that far at all. To Tell Market is a Disney-inspired event, but not everything I sell has to be Disney-inspired. I was super excited for this one because it was a Valentine's Day theme and I just, I love Valentine's Day. I love the pinks and the reds and just like the lovey-doveyness of it all. I did a lot of prep and created new designs for this day. So if you haven't seen my previous vlog, you can check that out to see what my process was like. For some reason, I couldn't really get the hang of my setup this time. I was trying to remember what it was like at my last market, but I don't know, it just it just wasn't coming out how I wanted it to. So every market I think is just slightly different than the one before as far as the layout. Normally I have my postcards on this stand, but because it was Valentine's Day and I had a new greeting card, it just made more sense to put the greeting cards here to highlight them. I couldn't make up my mind on the layout. I kept switching things around but eventually I finished it and came up with something. My shirts and sweaters were the products I wanted to be highlighted more than anything. The coordinator Brie always makes these button pins for all the vendors every market, so it's like a fun little collectible. I had a few minutes to spare, so I quickly walked around to see what everyone else was selling. They always have such fun photo ops, and this was just one of them. That's the problem with coming to these. I see something, and I feel like I need to get it because I can't find it anywhere else. The market officially opened at 12. I had a few people come in pretty quickly, which was wild to me. I was not expecting to make a sale that soon. From my past experiences, I usually don't make a sale until about 30 minutes to an hour in. And just like I was hoping, the shirts and the sweaters were the product people gravitated to, which I was so happy about. I knew they were gonna do well, like I didn't have a doubt about that, but I was just not ready for how well they were gonna do. Frankie had some other work to do that day, and so he left, and maybe like 10 to 15 minutes after he left, a bunch of people came, and I just felt bombarded. I'm, I don't think it looks that way on camera, but I was just like, oh my god, like all these people are looking at my stuff, they want to ask me questions, I'm trying to pack someone else's order, and I see other people come, ready to pay. I just got bombarded with people. <laughs> As soon as Frankie left, a bunch of people came and got really overwhelmed. I hope people can't tell that I got anxious because I feel like I'm shaking. I always feel so lucky because every market, I always have friends or family come by and there hasn't been one market that I've done that I haven't had people come to support me. Oh, and if you hear like a buzzing sound, there was a booth in front of me that was like a type of, it was kind of like a Build-A-Bear thing. You would pick like a certain stuffed animal and they would like fill it right there in front of you. The machine they used like needed a generator and it was just so, it was so loud and it was on basically the entire time. We had family stop by towards the end and they were nice enough to help me pack up. Again, I just, I have so much support all the time. 
the best feeling is packing up your stuff and realizing that you have all this extra space because you sold a lot of your product. So packing up the car felt much lighter. Well, thanks for coming along with me on that market. The location was great. The customers were so sweet and I made the most sales at this one. Just as I was hoping the shirts and the sweaters were a hit. Unfortunately, I didn't have all the stock I was hoping to have. The blanks that I had ordered were delayed in the mail and yeah, they just weren't delivered in time, but that's okay. Um, I sold out of all the sweaters I had, which was maybe only like seven or eight. And then the shirts, I think I sold about like 90% of the shirts that I brought. Yeah, and I just had a really good time at this event. I definitely learned what I need to work on for next time, specifically like my packaging. I feel like I was just taking too long packing up the sweaters, or at least I felt like I was taking forever, or it just could have been faster. So I, I definitely need to do more prep work for the next market, which will be on the 23rd. That's like two weeks from now. That'll be at the same location with the same market. Um, I've already been doing a lot of prep work, new designs behind the scenes like this guy over here. Yeah, I'll share more in another another video. If you're interested in seeing more of my work or just seeing what I'm up to, you can follow me on Instagram at artbyryanm. Until then, I will see you at the market or I'll see you in the next video.